Thank you very much, Jacques, and promise you, thank you so much for joining me. We didn't have uh, much chance to catch up. Uh, we had a chat a couple of weeks back, uh, actually just before Maggie Felix joined in. So I want to know how have been things for you since then, and how have you guys been able to adjust to this new mid laner? Uh, yeah. Uh, first of all, thanks for having me <laughs> again. Uh, glad to be Always. back. Um, yeah, uh, it's it's been. I mean, it's always rough to like change roster, especially when it's not really something that like we weren't looking to do roster swaps, you know, uh, we kind of just had to do it. Um, but it was also like we had the honeymoon effect uh, kind of going in the start. <laughs> Uh, but then we had uh, we had a couple of rough weeks of practice and and stage games as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think we also have to look forward to summer split, uh, like mostly. And because uh, yeah. I think we're gonna play with him, I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, it's been it's been rough, yeah. Uh, I can imagine that it's been rough for you guys, and I, I mean, the year overall, the fact that you had to adjust to a new mid laner, but still, I mean, you, you did a great job adjusting to him. I mean, when I look at the game from yesterday, it feels like you finally found your marks. So taking learning from s for summer, I had a, a chat with What Knight yesterday, and he agreed on the fact that throughout difficult times is where you usually learn the most. Uh, do you agree with this statement? And when you compare this year with Astralis, with the previous experiences that you had, do you feel like you learned more from this? Uh, yeah, I think it's always like, you kind of like, usually like you change teams like uh, each year or whatever, mm -hmm. like, and then you get new teammates and yeah, you kind of like learn how to work with each other after at some time. But with Nuketech, we really never got the time to fully learn to work with him. Uh, so it was like, we kind of just like, I mean, it's just a weird position, right? But I think for summer, yeah. if you do continue playing with Felix, it's, you know, we have something to work on right now and we kind of know what to work on, like specifically as a team uh, with him. Uh, so that's kind of like something to take away, I guess. And we will just see how it goes these last two games as well. Uh, it would be really nice to finish with like two wins here uh, to just get some kind of like self-confidence for ourselves because yeah. It's like, sure, we can't make playoffs, but it still means a lot for us to win these games, it's kind of to prove to ourselves and prove to, to the community, you know, that we are actually not the last Stralis, the, la the last team. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, I'm, I'm excited for summer and I'm, I'm going to, like, make the most out of it because for me individually as well, I, I haven't been uh, really comfortable or, like, happy with my performance uh, this split. And I mean, I, I am a, a person, or like a player who is in a position where this is kind of like my last chance, you know, so I definitely feel like I have a lot to live up to in summer and, you know, keep mm -hmm. pro proving people wrong, I guess, or, well, start proving people wrong because maybe I didn't do it that much uh, this split. I, get, uh, I hope that you can keep on proving people wrong because when I see the game from yesterday, you surely had those engages going. And I mean, let's not forget that you are an MSI champion also. <laughs> so uh, talking about all yeah. this, I mean, yeah, you have so, so much experience. You had so many teams you played with. Uh, what is your role within Astralis and how do you want to evolve this team? Uh, I think my role is kind of, I think Nico is, or well, he is the most communicative like player in the team. Uh, he talks a lot, so I don't really have to do a lot of talking, even though it's kind of like, it's kind of easy for me at this point as well, because yeah, I'm an experienced play, player, right? So I know like, um, I understand macro and stuff, but kind of lead that to Nico, and I'm just more looking for these engages and, you know, uh, small mm -hmm. plays kind of, or like trying to be creative, I think. You can kind of see it as well in the games that we play, if you pay attention, that I'm looking for kind of like flanks and stuff like this, looking for to make plays happen, mm -hmm. start fights, which shouldn't really happen, you know? Because I think that's kind of important right now as a support player to find these fights, start good fights for your team. Um, so that's kind of like my role, I guess. Uh, just like, you know, it's an engage meta, so you have to really find good engages for your team because if I do good engages, then I should be able to rely on my carries to do their job as well. So I kind of need to enable them in a mm -hmm. way. Um, but yeah, you know, like, still I, I have this veteran uh, hour, I guess, around me or experience when it comes to, like, outside of the game stuff as well. So there's still that to it as well. Well, I hope that you'll be proud of your performance after this week. And yeah, let's make every game count, Promise Q. Thank you so much for the interview. Yeah, thanks for having me.